Hey guys, welcome to Fun Knife Friday. And uh, stick around, and we'll get to that uh, that weird uh, trick that pro sharpeners hate. But uh, I thought I'd kind of go over some of my sharpening equipment. Uh, a lot of people have asked about it. It was a thing on the Sunday live stream. People were asking, you know, what do you use, RJ? What kind of stuff do you use? And so I thought I'd kind of take a walk down memory lane, but also show you uh, the stuff that I have now that, uh, you know, it's a, it's a lot of stuff that you guys have too. But this is what I started out with. This was a kit that came from uh, Smith's uh, Sharpening. And so you got, you know, this nice little block and you got a uh, coarse Arkansas stone on there. Then you got a fine. And this was pretty much it. They came with some oil that you'd put on there. And that was how I started to learn how to sharpen. Uh, you know, basically trying to find an edge and, you know, find an angle rather and, and try to get it going. And, you know, I think like a lot of people, some knives you did really good with it and some knives you didn't do very good with it and that kind of was what we had for a you know a long time until they came out with the uh you know systems similar to this sorry i didn't mean to hit the camera sorry similar to this lansky system and this is what you know what we always called uh you know croc sticks when i when i you know first started seeing these when i was a teenager but uh they got, you know, ceramic rods are pretty much what they call them now. But this Lansky turnbox system is uh, is pretty great because you get two sets of holes in here. So you have your 20 degree angle and your 25 degree angle, which is good for, for most things. And the reason it is a, a turnbox, as you can see, there's, there's lines on here because I do use this uh, a lot uh, with this turn you turn this or unscrew it uh if you really need it you have some uh, diamond rods here to go with your ceramic so coarse and fine uh which you know these will set an angle on your uh knife blade as well but it's nice because everything then goes in and stores in this nice little box and then you can kind of keep it uh wherever you want to and you just loosen that screw a little bit and turn this block around and there you go for the most part it can sit like this everything's contained nice and uh safe when it's a, it's like i said it's a really good system uh we'll mess around with this this is i i hope it's not gonna be too too long of a video but it could go that way i wasn't gonna plan on doing like a lot of sharpening and stuff but we'll see what happens now, I know a lot of people get mad about uh, pull-through sharpeners, but I liked this one because it has ceramic rods in it. So I don't really use this coarse carbide side, but I do use the uh, ceramic rods in here. And I use this one in the kitchen, and I'll, this is from uh, Outdoor Edge. And so this one, they what did they call it? The X system, because it the base turns and so you get a, a nice solid base than if it was uh you know just like this you know it's got some nice little rubber feet so i thought this was a a neat little uh thing because like i said for in the in the kitchen just pulling it on the uh the ceramic is a is a pretty good deal but uh so that would be my exception to the pull through sharpeners is if you can find one that has the uh, ceramic rods in it then that's not too bad uh everybody has seen this guy here the uh workshop precision adjust and the thing that i liked about it is that it does you know hold blades especially if you have a larger blade like this one here you know then you're gonna do just fine you have no no problems don't mind the uh stray hair that was on there i can't help it i live with a lot of animals and you've seen me on my sunday show so stray hairs in my house are pretty common but anyways like with a knife like this uh you can hold it in place you can hold you can set your angle and everything and you're good to go 
But say if you wanted to uh, sharpen a knife, like say this uh, this trapper, you see where it gets to be a lot trickier because you don't have that that edge. And what you have happen is that your uh, little trihone will hit on this uh, clamp, and so you can't get a good uh, a good edge on that using that system. So. What I do use, we'll kind of take a, a little side trip here. If I happen to be out in the field, I carry these guys. I have this WorkSharp that I got this from, I believe it was J.O. or Ray. I'm sorry, I can't remember, guys. And I had one of these little fold-out DMT sharpeners for ever. You know, and you just try to match your, you know, angle on this guy and then you can uh, go back and forth you know and these are okay for when you're out uh, you know and you're away from from home but then with this work sharp it's kind of the same way you have a, a coarse side here but it gives you the angles so you can set it for a uh, 20 degree angle and so it helps you to keep that and of course you have the uh, ceramic rod side which as you can see I use that if I need a quick touch up more than anything else. Now this is not like the uh, WorkSharp, uh, the guided field sharpener. That one has more features on it. This pretty much is is very basic with a uh, with the uh, coarse and the and the fine, you know. But it does give you something to hold on to. It is kind of small, you know. But if you're out in the field, it definitely is something to uh, to have. Of course, the Lansky turn box. If you have enough room to use that, then, you know, go ahead and use that. But what I use a lot, and I got this a while back. I don't think WorkSharp makes this anymore. And this is the WorkSharp guided sharpening system. And this was the one, I don't know if you guys remember this or not. Uh, but with the magnets, you can have a 17 or a 20 degree angle. I mostly use the 17 for my smaller knives and that just clips into place. But then it had this part here, so it has a tilting table. So if you're following the uh, edge, so like say if you lay it on here and you go across, if you notice that table tilts and then you can stop it so you don't round off your, your edge, but uh, then you can just stop there. And I'll use this and this gets me pretty good edges then a lot of times what I'll do is like I said I take the light and I'm looking to see am I missing something or is something need to be uh, hit on the other side and then the same way with uh, this one you know with the other side where you can just grab it a few times now this is a fine uh, stone and this was still pretty much a, a factory edge on it but we'll see if we if we did anything to it, uh, yeah, see, it's it's pretty rough still. But this isn't great paper either. This is just some computer paper. And I hadn't really messed with this. But one of the nice things is if you buy the, uh, they had a, like the rest of the WorkSharp uh, system. Now this one, can you can take this part out. They did have a place where you could put just ceramic rods in here also. And it still kept your angles and it also had on this I don't know if the light might be too bright but uh, you had yeah you can see it up here especially this had grooves so like if you had serrations or if you wanted to sharpen fish hooks or something like that you could do that and then the other side was solid so you could use that so you did have this little turn function and you had these other additional smaller uh, ones this one to get into serrations and you had this uh, one as well. So you did have some stuff, but if you've got the uh, upgrade kit, which WorkSharp always does, uh, on this one, let me get this. I did buy the upgrade kit because it comes with a leather strop. So let's get this off. It's just held on with magnets. Now, if you see these plates, uh, they probably look pretty familiar because 
it almost is like if the guided sharpening system and the precision adjust had a baby, this would be what the new precision adjust is with these much longer plates that are held in with magnets. As soon as I saw these plates, I was like, oh, I know what they did. <laughs> and, you know, it, it's, and it's okay, you know, I mean, it's not a, not a big deal. But like I said, this one, you got the leather strop and it comes with the green uh, compound. So then I would just lock this in place. And so now I can strop this knife that we just, that we just uh, sharpened and we can see if this, uh, this strop may, uh, may help out our edge or not, if it's going to uh, get on there or not. But it's kind of cool because I do use the strop function on here. Let's see, did we, did we do any better? As you can tell, not really. I need a lot more work on this particular blade, that's for sure. Uh, let me see, because I just was messing with this system with the with my trapper the other day. Let's see if this is any better. Well, like I said, this paper is not good, or my edge is not good. You can you can uh, take it either way, and I don't mind. <laughs> but let's get down to that one trick. That one weird trick that pro sharpeners hate. And what that is, is if you learn how to uh, sharpen your knives, they will hate that because then they're basically out of a job. You know, so anyways, uh, I'm going to cut it off here. I, I knew I would embarrass myself with my sharpening skills or lack thereof. Uh, and I'm not the best sharpener and I am still learning and trying and then doing things all the time. So uh, all I can say is I'm going to keep on, keep on practicing until I get that one weird trick down. And, uh, and then I won't have to use any professional sharpeners ever again, like I ever did to begin with. But, uh, Hey, there you go. At least I'm keeping it real, but, uh, yeah, this is good, good stuff. I think you can probably find this on the, uh, secondary market. Uh, but it, was uh, kind of a cool deal. I'm glad I got this and I will definitely mess around with it uh, a lot more. My biggest problem with sharpening, to tell you guys the truth, is time. Because for me to have uninterrupted time to sit there for a half hour or 45 minutes, yeah, forget about it. I just don't have it. <laughs> so I do hit the uh, Lansky system a lot. I do hit the uh, the work sharp when I need it. That's for sure. Anyways, like I said, we'll cut that off here and I hope you enjoyed this video and you got to see some of my uh, sharpening stuff and, and see that I need a lot of practice. So we'll leave it there. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.